Hello everybody, Salty the Hyena here, back with another bot build showcase. Today we're gonna check out the Light Might. This is a bot built for speed and it's relying completely on its speed and agility and to stay hidden to stay alive. This is the ninja of the game. It can climb walls and it can run outside of bounds and it jumps like, I don't know, like a flea or something. As you can see, mine is equipped with accelerators and light armors to give it that insane speed. 116 kilometers an hour. When you only rock light armor, it's better to go for non resist. And this particular bot that you're watching now has EM circuits because I find myself dueling all other light bots all the time with this. And uh, the weapon setup on today for this video is with generators on the Fulgur and a single mag and reinforced ammunition on its manglers. So without further ado, I guess we'll just uh, jump into queue and see if I can't find a game for you guys to show off this light might. My favorite. So we're dropping light might first against one other humans and a bunch of AI. So um, the first thing you'll notice when you st when I start moving now is that it's <laughs> it's really really fast. And you can cr pull off some crazy, crazy stunts with this guy. Let's check out its stock jump from a ledge. Yeah, this guy is practically flying without any jump capacitors. Or jump amplifiers, I think they're called. Gotta be careful, this AI will uh, shoot me in the leg and make my bot useless if they see me. I'm gonna sneak up along these buildings over here and see if I can get in range and do some damage. When you're as fast as this build is, you can fling yourself out of... Uh, whoo, I think I peed, but peed a little there, right? And when you're as fast as, these, as this build is, you can just fling yourself off uh, ledges and buildings and stuff, and you don't actually have to use your jump ability to jump off of, jump off of 90 degree ledges and stuff. Um, there we see major hit, I'm gonna try and run an assassin's game on him. Careful. Yeah. I think he anticipated me coming over there, so he retreated to the safety of his AI. Still, that's another 2k damage. I moved back because I feared he was gonna maneuver up to the right and thus flank me, kind of, force me to retreat. Helping out my own AI for a little bit here. Push as much damage as possible. You're gonna see, uh, I have plenty of different folders and uh, Lately I've been using the ones with the extended range. So you're gonna see I'm gonna make a critical mistake against Major Hit in a little bit. Simply because I thought my range was 50 or 55 meters and it's actually just like 30. Hiding, you need to hide a lot because you can't really take any damage. Even the mighty might is really vulnerable in it, in its legs. And uh, the MAO is too slow. So I strip him of his weapons 
and retreat back in cover. Once I've reloaded, I'm attacking again. Push all the time. Sadly, he already dead. So, yeah. What to do now? Better get back in cover. My chest is red. Mm, this probably means that the next hit might kill me. But I think this has been a really good showcase of what the Light Might might do. Uh, the Mighty Might is mighty fine, but I think the Light Might is my favorite Might. It's so smooth, it's so fast, it's so agile. And it's a lot of fun. It's challenging to pilot because uh, it's unforgiving. Punishing. If you make a mistake, you die. And I'm about to make a mistake. Should have fired at him there. I was hoping to sneak up on him. There, I shocked him, but my shock didn't hit him because I was too far away. He proceeded to kill me. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.